Rheumatological disorders, especially in case of buffaloes, are of having the economic importance in India and uh, the other countries where buffalo population is very high. So, with this uh, brief introduction, I will go because the buffalo is an incredible animal and which converts the roughage, especially cellulose, into the very good quality milk with uh, the SNF 9.5 and the fat also 8 and above. So, these animals are also not beyond the disease because they also suffer from certain disorders, especially the dermatological disorders, especially in the, the cattle, it is globally, it is very well aware, but somehow the buffaloes, it is being neglected and uh, the category of the disorders can be classified into bacterial skin diseases, fungal, parasitic, viral and protozoal skin diseases, immunological, then congenital, hereditary skin diseases, then also the environmental uh, skin diseases, nutritional uh, skin diseases and the neoplastic skin diseases. Then also the very varieties of other non-specific uh, skin diseases or other miscellaneous skin disease we, for which we do not know the exact uh, reason and uh, we can also uh, at the same time we cannot neglect them at the same time and hence uh, we will go in little detail about some of the disorders and also sometimes which is very much uh, required for the practitioner uh, practicing veterinarians hence uh, with this be introduction especially the classification etc we will see what are all those bacterial skin disorders in case of the buffaloes very similar to that of uh, the cattle the buffaloes also suffer uh, the bacterial infection which further may be classified as the impetigo, folliculitis and furunculosis, ulcerative lymphangitis, then coronary bacterium, pseudotuberculosis granuloma, dermatophilosis, actinomycosis, then actinobacillosis, uh, then uh, the clostridial cellulitis, opportunistic mycobacterial granuloma, farsi and varieties of uh, the abscesses, varieties of the abscesses, bacterial cellulitis, bacterial pseudomycetoma and necrobacillosis and nodular thelitis, nocardiosis, pasturella granuloma and uh, many more especially anthrax and uh, septicemic slough. All these are the some of the disorders which are seen in the cattle as well as in case of buffaloes. Coming to the first disorder that is the edematous skin disorders of the buffaloes. It is caused by the Corinne bacterium pseudotuberculosis and uh, it's a very special disease of the buffaloes, an endemic disease, especially in case of Egypt, which appear as outbreaks during the summer months, especially 32 degrees centigrade and relative humidity is uh, of course very high. The disease is characterized by developed swellings, which usually appear in the diffuse form of the thickening up of the skin in the hind and forelimbs, the belly and the dewlap. And these lesions usually involve drainage, lymph node which may be enlarged uh, and attain the size of a small water melon and uh, such a big uh, uh, swelling will be there and the swelling may be developed uh, at other sites such as dorsal aspect of the neck of the trunks. Mortality is very low but morbidity is just uh, very high transmitted by the fly just like the lumpy skin disease it is transmitted by the louse fly hippo posca and these are all the some of the skin lesions. Uh, especially in the thigh region, lot of lesions will be present and uh, uh, also in the neck region or sometimes the front leg region also it will be present in rump region and also wither region. So such a type of the very big abscess can be seen in varieties of the buffaloes. And uh, the second stage of the OSD showing the purulent discharge developed from the lymph nodes because it, is, it affects the lymph nodes and hence it causes a very big lump especially on any other side of the body. Yes, this is also the another example of the edematous skin disease especially in case of uh, buffaloes and very big uh, nodules are formed which affect the lymph glands. And of course, it is also present in the initial site of the infection. And uh, this buffalo swelling of the dewlap with involvement of the drainage of the lymph node because the lymph nodes are swollen and hence there is no lymph uh, drainage is present and 
there will be very big swelling will be present that's how it goes and here also the swelling group of the dewlap prescapular lymph node and whole four limb it's also called as just looks like a elephantiasis in case of the animals and the skin lesion already we have shown this uh, photo to you showing the large eroded area with active bleeding surface which is having the active bleeding surface and uh, the necrotic ulcerative dermatitis on the head of the foot here it is present and also the necrosis of squamous cell epithelium with micro abscesses in the dermis and uh, it is H and E stained and we can see the very big lesions in such uh, area and apart from this one uh, the Hematobium equina, a biting fly that will bite the uh, buffaloes and causes the very big swelling wherever it goes as and uh, causes the lymphangitis, especially the lymph node training. And the treatment of this one, uh, especially the field veterinarians are worried about the treatment, usually the penicillins and macrolide antibiotics, and sometimes the tetracyclines and uh, the third generation cyclosporins. Of course, uh, the lincomycin, chloramphenicol, and rifamycin, uh, usually it will respond to penicillins and uh, macrolides. Of course, the macrolides need to be used very carefully because they cause the ototoxicity and nephrotoxicity. And uh, the other uh, better drugs is the cyclosporins. And uh, if it is not at all responding to any of the drug, then we can also go for the chloramphenicol and rifamycin. And most uh, isolates were resistant to aminoglycosides, nitrofurans, polymexins and nalidic acid and also it is a case uh, study cyclohexamide and uh, the usually one need to lance and drain the external upsets long term antimicrobial therapy for the ulcerative lymphangitis is very much required and also the lymph infection and internal infection and the, of course we need to control the flies with very effectively with ectoparasiticides. Apart from this one, the hydrocortisone, phenylbutazone, endomethacin or diphenhydramine, which is an antihistamine, can also inhibit the edema and other inflammatory processes. And diphenhydramine is the most effective inhibitory treatment for the edema and increased vesicular permeability in the particular disorders, especially the OSD. And corticosteroids can suppress all aspects of inflammation by inhibiting the cell membrane phospholipids, thus blocking the production of prostaglandins and leukotrins. So, uh, for animals that cannot receive corticosteroids, maybe sometimes they may be pregnant or they have immunosuppressed condition, other NSAIDs uh, are antagonists of the leukotrins and kinins such as acetyl salicylic acid and phenylbutazone can be used in the treatment of this condition and it will of course it will respond in the initial stage later stage it may be difficult to treat yes uh, this is uh, the uh, resistant pattern or antibiotic uh, uh, sensitivity pattern in different countries starting from Austria, Belgium, Bulgaria and uh, the very different uh, type of the countries different antibiotics do have sensitivity to the causing microorganisms and uh, another condition this is the second condition it is called as the bacterial cellulitis and it is a photograph uh, showing the enlarged left uh, hind teeth white arrow left hind teeth there is a and collapsed ad other quarter is usually seen because it's a bacterial cellulitis and photograph showing the removal of the gangrene other uh, tissue uh, from the left hind teeth cistern which is infected with the bacteria Usually such type of uh, the uh, lesions will also be located in the uh, teeth cistern mucosa and uh, sutured incised walls can also be here seen and uh, the penicillins and cephalosporins uh, they can be used and this case is reported by Vandana Sangwan et al in the year 2018 which is a, a unique case especially in case of bacterial cellulitis. And the second one is the fungal skin disease. Of course, uh, the fungal skin diseases are also very important. Fungi also cause many types of the skin disorders in cattle and buffaloes. The three important fungi are the dermatophytosis, 
the aspergillosis and otitis externa are very common in case of buffaloes and of course the other fungal disorders are there uh, they are not so important the general line of the treatment of the fungal disease is administration of antifungal agents uh, parenterally or enterally and application of wheat fields ointment that's very effective in case of the buffaloes and this is reported by Burton et al in the year 2007 especially the fungal skin disorders and apart from this one the <coughs> dermatophytosis or ringworm is a very common diseases of the large animal including the buffaloes and it is most commonly caused by trichophyton verrucosum and uh, less frequently trichophyton mentagophytes and t equinum uh, microsporum gypsium and uh, m canis and m nanum in case of the canis whereas in case of buffaloes also trichophyton verrucosum is also one of the important fungus that causes the fungal dermatitis Usually lesions are most common the face, head, pinna, neck, rump and tail and the perineum. Especially veil, head, pinna, neck and rump and tail. And tough fat uh, papules enlarge into thick grayish whitish crusts. And pruritis is rare and the affected animals are otherwise totally devil uh, healthy. But this bovine or bibeline dermatophytosis is a contagious and zoonotic disease and the treatment is the antifungal agents especially the Whitfield ointment is very effective which is containing the salicylic acid and also the benzoic acid in equal quantities. Dermatophytosis is caused by the ringworm infection. This is caused by the different species of the keratophilic fungi that in fact keratin is the structure of the man and also the animals. And the trichophyton mentagrophytum and trichophyton verrucosum, trichophyton rubrum and semi and microsporum gypsum are the most common fungi isolated from the animal dermatophytosis. So it is the major public and veterinary health problem and cause great economic losses especially uh, from the uh, what you call as uh, the infectious nature and the disease is uh, commonly seen during the winter this season and also the next coming season that is also the spring season which is reported by Singh et al in the year 2013 and this is the skin lesions on the rump flank and hind limbs of the buffaloes and uh, some of the photographs are taken by Singh et al and uh, they are uh, being collected here and uh, with due regards to Dr. Singh et al in the year 2013. Uh, yes of course uh, this is also the lesion which looks like the burnt skin of the buffaloes and uh, uh, this also responds uh, very well to the antibiotics uh, and also along with the antifungal ointment, especially Whitfield ointment. And uh, the clinical mycological findings of four cases of ringworms has been reported by some of the authors, especially in uh, Singhatar 2013, they attributed in Karnataka, Delhi, Gujarat and uh, Rajasthan and isolated different fungus, that's the T. verriculosum and uh, metagrophytes and many more in case of the buffaloes and the treatment of this disorder need to be initiated with local application of aqueous solution of n trichlormethyl o cyanohex a and decarbovase powder at the rate of 30 grams dissolved in 4 liters of the water and applied once daily for 3 days over lesions and uh, it is weakly sprayed till the lesions are uh, dissolved especially the and also the vitamin ADE, ADE3 injection 10 ml IM once daily on uh, alternative day for three occasions is uh, given and injection of the fortified brocaine penicillin uh, uh, 40 that is the FFP IM uh, twice daily for seven days need to be given for the complete cure of the disease and the topical application of tincture of iodine solution is an old treatment but still it is effective. The iodine ointment, iodine containing iodine may be the poiodine iodine or the iodophores or also the potassium iodide or sodium iodide still they are effective and this has been reported by Paul et al in 1995 uh, even though the tincture iodine is one of the better uh, result it is going to give and of course the Singh et al also studied in the year 2013. 
and optimal therapy of this dermatophytes required the combination of topical antifungal therapy concurrent systematic anti fungal therapy and also the environmental decontamination all three all the three need to be combined together and the treatment should be continued until two consecutive negative cultures at weekly or bi weekly intervals because the fungal disorders are the one such it's very difficult to eradicate all the fungus from the skin and the tropical treatments speed resolution of the clinical lesions and may help to prevent the zoonotic that's the contagion and systematic therapies uh, have prolonged the residual activity of the skin and hair provide the most effective treatment of the said condition and the to topical therapy is also with uh, the zinc oxide then sometimes it's also surprising that thiabendazole is also used ointment containing benzoic acid salicylic acid sulfur iodine and also the vaseline in uh, the mentioned type of the quantity and 1% they also ticonazole is also effective and 10% enical enilconazole and whitfield's ointment is still effective and one of the oldest ointment and silver nitrate ointment and natamycin ointment all these are used as the topical therapy with different type of the recovery rates and uh, the systemic uh, therapy ivermectin 200 micrograms per kg is also uh, to be proved to be effective and also the griseofulvin and uh, 10 mg per kg body weight for 7 days in infections in severe cases 2 to 3 weeks and the environmental contamination and uh, especially the cleaner farm it's a solution containing the fungicidal activity used for disinfecting the environment with spray or smoke generator and systemic therapy a live attenuated fungal vaccine is in use of some countries but it is not available in india or the other part of the country of course the there is a concept of treatment of the fungal uh, disease with the vaccine and the vaccine prevents the development of clinical lesions and transmission to the other animals and vaccination can reduce the incidence of zoonotic uh, disease in case of the farmers and their households and veterinarians and people working in the slaughterhouse tanneries so the it is not cost, uh, cost effective especially the vaccine or uh, when compared to the oral antibiotic therapy and the involves improvement of the husbandry practice because of the overcrowding causes the disease especially remove the crust with brush and discard the brush and burn the in, in the infective material topical treatment of the choice is lime sulfur is also used 1 is to 16 and anilconazole 1 is to 10 leave on rinses and do not use bleaching because it can irritating uh, and a, a human health hazard also then application of uh, this uh, uh, propolis a resinous substance collected from the plants by the honeybees and whitfield's ointment is highly effective in the treatment of dermatophytosis that's the propolis and it is better than that use of the either substances alone so recently this uh, propolis is uh, used effect to be used in many of the disorder including the lumpy skin disease of course uh, some of the trials have been conducted in dermatological disorders and uh, the third one is the dermatophilosis which is caused by dermatophilus congolensis and it is also the economically important uh, disease and few report of this uh, dermatophytosis in the buffalo from the india which is reported by paul et al in the 1995 and of course the sharma at all in the 1992 they also included or reported the dermatophilosis in case of the indian buffaloes and this is the lesion with thick scabs and fissures in the limb which is uh, reported by tresamol at all in the year 2016 and also the lesions on the udder uh, the same authors have seen this is the dermatophytosis infection and the lesions in the tail also can be seen which uh, uh, removes the especially the skin on the tail and severe generalized dermatophilosis is also seen in such many of the buffaloes and uh, of course the cultures also proved that uh, the decongolence is in the sheep blood agar which proved to be the causative agent and chronic atypical generalized dermatophilosis in a buffalo has been studied which was later attributed to the dermatophilosis and before and after the treatment you can see the feature here because skin lesions were characterized by annular wheels and ulcerative lesions over neck trunk limbs and other 
and diagnosis is usually confirmed by the cultural examination of the skin scabs and treatment response to the procaine penicillin usually transitory and complete recovery will be achieved by two doses of long acting octocycline within a month that's also another line of the treatment the occurrence of the infection related to, uh, to the pregnancy especially if the animals are pregnant then uh, uh, the animals were more susceptible and uh, this is uh, reported by Kanwar Paul Singh Delon et al in the year 2020 such type of the lesions and filamentous zoo zoo propus has been seen in case of the gram stain in into 1000x and also the classical rod uh, appearance of the dermatophilosis with the zimsa stain can also be seen in this particular slide and classical filamentous structure of the dermatophilosis can also be seen in such uh, cases especially then the animal with scabies has crept day 0 and after day 9 of the therapy uh, it has responded then uh, later after 16 uh, day of the therapy it is responded and after a complete therapy the the animal has totally recovered the animal uh, treated was with oxytetracycline 10 mg per kg body weight iv in the normal saline and uh, cpm usually 0.2 mg per kg im for about 5 days and uh, this was continued with long acting oxytetracycline 20 mg per kg im for another 2 weeks the progress of the illness was halted after 5 days of the therapy and the animal showed marked improvement after 9 days of the therapy because usually in case of any of the dermatophilosis or any other thing it takes longer time and complete clinical improvement was noticed after 16 days of therapy with the disappearance of the scabs and the crusts so another thing is the otitis externa is a very common dermatological disorder in case of the buffaloes of course it is a one of the common disorders in case of the cattle with the tropical and subtropical region and the etiological agents are predominantly this uh, raptiform nematodes and the mites of the genus that's the rylatia its prevention is uh, higher in case of the mature and zebu cattle in advanced clinical stages there can be irreversible and fatal neural lesions and ear infection especially in case of the buffalo cows has been associated with concurrent respiratory diseases so of course uh, the bacteria are actinomycosis corine bacterium pseudotuberculosis e coli and many more so in this particular uh, buffalo you can see the otitis externa that uh, in case of a buffaloes uh, swelling up of the ear pinna with greenish whitish pus with a foul smelling odor and this is also reported by vandana sangwan and uh, ashwani kumar in case in the year 2000 21 another this one of course this is also two linear horizontal skin initials uh, on the made on the wall of the vertical ear canal to on the either side of the tragus and the insect intersecting slightly beyond the level and the ear canal open and uh, it has been excised and uh, of course the calcified pus blocking the canal being removed with the artery forceps just like this thing and uh, the another one the b is the photograph showing the calcified pus removed from the horizontal ear canal so the same authors have reported this thing and of course the photograph showing the cavity being flushed with normal saline solution simultaneously sucked outside the suction using the wide bore pipe with the the sterile extraction and of course the sutures have been put and the later the animal have been uh, recovered and mycotic eye infection in the buffaloes or the aspergillus uh, dermato uh, dermatologists uh, that's the it is caused by aspergillus fumigatus aspergillus flavus niger and uh, many more candidia species etc the predominant clinical manifestations uh, spread in the infected buffaloes from one to another and cows buffaloes or buffalo cows below 1 year old were more uh, prone to mycotic infection than 1 year or more which is reported by Jenan Mahmoud Kalaf in the year 2021 and this is the lesion these are all the lesions especially in the buffaloes which are infected with the such type of the fungi yes uh, now it is the third uh, uh, thing that's the parasitic skin diseases uh, of course uh, many parasites uh, are there coreoptic mange sauroptic mange sarcoptic mange and demodectic mange and uh, the pediculosis is also another parasitic uh, disorders and uh, the buffalo mange is a contagious skin disease caused by variety of the 
parasitic mites burrowing in or living in the skin. And animals have history of inhabitants, sudden decrease in the milk yield, bilateral lameness of the forelimbs with local hair loss and the pruritus. Mange is a widespread contagious skin disease and uh, appears to be one of the most important skin diseases of the buffalo of tropical and subtropical countries. Especially the sarcoptic, soroptic and chorioptic, all the three types of the mange infection will be done and this is studied extensively by Afzal et al and Asad et al in the year 2019. And scabies is a contagious skin condition caused by the mite sar sarcoptic scabii or warbovis. It is transmissible directly from one animal to another animal. And of course, these lesions are very similar to that of the cattle. And uh, there will be pruritus, erythema, inflammation, keratinization, thickening up of the skin, exudation, and alopecia of the affected areas. And sarcoptic scabii is also burrowing mite and causes the similar type of the lesions. So, it is uh, the sarcoptic scabii bavar bibalis is the cause of the sarcoptic mange in case of the buffaloes. And the disease is sometimes characterized by the presence of skin lesions much more severe than that of the other form of the mange and it may involve the entire body surface. That is also important in case of uh, the short weeks uh, as per the radar studies etc. in the year 2027. And sarcoptis, uh, may mites are superficial skin parasites which generally live on the skin of parts of the body as well as the covered with hair. And infestation may be chronic, even subclinical and uh, localized. And uh, P. ovis and P. natalensis have been reported to cause in, uh, the soroptic mange in case of buffaloes. Of course, uh, uh, the Gill et al. in 1989 and Sridevi et al. Uh, in the year 2001, they studied this thing. And the Coryoptus bovis is another non-burrowing mite, so it causes some occasional disorders. So, Rakesh et al. in the year 2017, they have reported this coreoptic mange in different buffaloes. So this is the choreoptic mean, swollen forelimbs, alopecia and moist exudation and uh, this is uh, the sarcoptis scabii where bubalis is uh, demonstrated in the smear of the skin. And of course uh, the sarcoptis natalensis mites male and female in the copulation stage they have been reported and of course the culture has been done in uh, some time this day. And the treatment uh, of the buffaloes uh, to be treated with 1% ivermectin at uh, 200 microgram per kg body weight subcutaneously once in a week for minimum three weeks uh, or else uh, the doramectin can also be used to treat it or aprinomectin 0.5 percent poron solution at the rate 1 ml per 10 kg body weight aprinomectin or enrofloxacin at the rate of 5 milligram per kg body weight intramuscularly once day for continuously five days or the meloxicam can also be used at the rate of 0.5 milligram per kg body weight once in uh, a day intramuscularly for 5 days and delta methrin to be applied to the surrounding environment uh, twice at a 2 week interval and follow up observation need to be done or one therapy or multiple therapies may be required based on depending upon the case and pediculosis is an infection infestation of the lice and uh, the lice is the the hematophinus tuberculatus is the insect belonging to the annulopora suborder and uh, the pediculosis is also a very common infestation in case of the buffaloes when compared to the cattle pediculosis is a problematic disorder in case of the buffaloes especially in case of the tail region and two other species belonging to the genus Hematopinosae and Hematopinosae quadri quadrapteris and the H. uri sternus are two important lice encountered in the buffaloes. Of course, uh, he, these are all these places where the uh, lice are very commonly seen, especially location of lice in the base of the tail and also on the end of the tail and uh, the pelvis region and also back, rear trunk, tail head and the perineum jaw region, ear region, neck and dewlap and top of the shoulders and four flank all these areas are very uh, common habitants of the buffalo lice. And treatment of the pediculosis of course everyone knows that cyper, this uh, uh, synthetic pyrethroids like permethrin and cyphlometrin and uh, uh, jetapermethrin and many more are very effective in case of uh, this uh, uh, buffaloes also but sometimes it causes irritation to the 
buffaloes, especially the cyphlothrin and uh, flumethrin is uh, causing irritation, hence they should not be used. And uh, some of the poron formulations are effective against the biting or blood sucking lice, whereas the injectable formulations are primarily effective against blood sucking lice. And the multiple poron formulation like the 5% permethrin and uh, piperonyl butoxide 5%. It is effective on the thing and especially delta methrin 0.1 percent is uh, effective in case of controlling the lice naturally infecting the water buffalo of course the fipronil is very safe and uh, of course uh, non-irritating but the cost of this fipronil one percent is somehow high when compared to the other preparation and uh, uh, this uh, another condition is also called as stephanophiliasis is also a common disorder in case of uh, the buffaloes the stephanophiliasis it's also the non seasonal disease whether it is a activity of the intermediate host like the hematobia or the musca it's caused by stephanophilaria stilesi whereas the hematobia or liparosi irritans is the intermediate uh, host and the lesions consist of the papules crustules or uh, uh, the ulcers alopecia and other things are a good cause this is the lesion especially stephanophiliasis alopecia especially in case of some of the animals and serum oozing up of the thick dark red brown crusting and it's painful and but it is non zoonotic the treatment is broad spectrum antibiotic nsid is local application of the iodophore antibiotic acyclovir oral and ointment in the initial stage may also be effective as per the nnatal 2012 whereas the viral skin disease also very commonly affecting the buffaloes and among them the herpes mammalitis is one of the most commonly affected disorder of course the second one is the foot and mouth disease and the lumpy skin disease of course the incidence is somewhat less when compared to the uh, cattle it is just for, uh, 1 to 1.5 percent and also the pseudocopox are the viral skin disease of the buffaloes the herpes mammalitis caused by bovine herpines virus 2 this is one of the important disorders of the cattle and occurs in case of lactating cattle, buffaloes and heifers tend to more severely infected with this disorder. Especially disease is very common in summer and fall and calving seasons of the buffaloes of course the, the October to March season and most cattle show no signs of systemic illness only the local illness will be present and the lesions may be confined to one teeth or involve all teeth. Disease is typically, typically sudden onset with swollen tender teeth. Irregular shaped vesicles may be seen, but uh, usually sloughing and ulcerations are the, uh, the untowards lesions noted. And here you can see that the reason for the occurrence of herpes heifers is still unknown. Why it is happening more, pro why the heifers are more prone to the herpes induced uh, mammalitis is uh, not known. Maybe the hormonal factor and many more are told. It may be because of the stress of calving, particularly with adder edema, and the hormonal changes lead to the activation of bovine herpes mammalitis virus and development of the season as per many studies Gibbs et al uh, 1984 and Martin and Sankaram and Kotaya they also studied this thing the clinical condition usually sporadic in occurrence with the first two months of the lactation in the heifers and first calving preferably in the winter season and the hindquarter infections especially such type of the skin lesions will be seen in case of the buffaloes the bovine herpes 2 causes mammalitis of the teeth especially in case of the cows and there will be sudden onset of the inflammation papules skin slapping etc the same type of the disorders is seen in primiparous or in the second calving there will be an acute inflammation of one or more teeth leading to necrotic ring formation and gangrenous fibrinous, uh, fibrosis mouli et al they reported but this condition is less successfully treated with antibiotic NSAIDs and uh, the glucocorticoids. And the therapy by external application with herbal ointments, uh, sometime herbal uh, ointment was little bit successful and uh, this has been reported by Sridhar and Sundaresh and Janaki and sometimes the herbal creams. And Sridhar also reported the lithium antimony triumulate was uh, used successfully for the condition with better cure rate in uh, certain condition. And the probable mechanism of lithium antimony thiamylate, especially antiomelin, in curing the condition might be due to its antifibrotic activity because uh, I have conducted a study in some of the buffaloes with uh, the lithium antimony thiamylate. Of course, it is highly painful drug, but it cures the condition. It may be having some fibrotic conditions and my study has been supported by 
the earlier studies like Vadva et al. and uh, Kanchwa et al. in the year 2017. Uh, uh, and few had administered amoxicillin and sulbactam combinations with uh, many of the combinations like an SIDs, ketoprofen, ascorbic acid, ciproperazone, intramembrane infusion, especially the quarters once daily for five days and buffalo with ulcerative thelitis suspected to be caused by the bovine herpes virus were externally uh, treated with acyclovir orally with external appearance of five days with the cure rate of 62.5 percent. However, the treatment is unsuccessful in many cases. It was treated with combination of the lithium antimony thiamylate, chlorpheniramine millate, meloxicam with acyclovir and uh, of course I have got very good results in uh, uh, certain buffaloes, but the cost may be little high and acyclovir the absorption pattern is little bit erratic oral absorption pattern but the parenteral therapy is always uh, successful and we have conducted some uh, trials clinical trials with using the acyclovir and uh, all of these are administered with uh, the especially amoxicillin sulbactam and uh, of course uh, the many varieties of this uh, trial and errors the animals were started to show improvement but uh, uh, the pain reduced all the animals were completely recovered and this is the herpes mammalitis irregularly shaped vesicles on the treat can be seen and herpes mammalitis cluster dated ulcers on the buffalo teat and here you can see that uh, the necrotic ring is formed and later it uh, called the complete necrosis of uh, the hindquarters and later the teat has fallen off initial clinical signs later the teat has been fallen off so this is a great loss to the farmer, the animal has lost its value and it has been sent to the slaughterhouse. Especially in the next season, the same type of the lesions have been seen and uh, uh, some of the treatment has been conducted by us and we could save one or the remaining teeth, of course the earlier teeth. And ulcerative amylitis of the buffaloes showing the uh, acute inflammation of the affected teeth with glossy appearance has been seen reported by some of the authors and ulcerative amylitis showing the typical sign of the ulceration on the affected uh, teeth of course there will be severe enlargement showing the development of circumscribed by necrotic uh, at the base of the affected teeth and sometimes the necrosis increases partial slipping up of the affected teeth occur if it is treated early then only this animal may recover which is this is reported by Malleswar Rao at all in the year 2003 and the courtesy of the photo is also from their article and of course the intradermal inoculation of suspected whey samples to the rabbit they have conducted that study and five days of the post inoculation showing the development of severe dermonecrosis so that is showing the presence of the herpes virus so such type of lesions has been shown in many of the types so of course the ulcerative thelitis in the early stages and lactating buffaloes and many photographs I have collected with extensive review of the literature and uh, after complete slapping up of the tissues many times it happens without responding to any of the line of the treatment and many times the stenosis or the stricture formation or the sister dilatation in the cow very similar type of and the uh, buffalo which is uh, tied by side of that buffalo note the huge thelitis in the left hind teeth and the same buffalo so totally the structure of this teeth has been lost and we can see the severe inflammation in such buffaloes. Mammalitis due to the herpes virus, one teeth will be very hugely involved and the necrotic rings are formed and it's highly painful in condition and it this ulceration of the mammary gland, it is going to be aggravated by the suckling reflex of the cows. Of course, uh, this is the foot and mouth, the, the, this is the line of the treatment. Of course, we do not have any other like, as a viral disease, autoimmune disease therapy and many more are there. And foot and mouth lesions are also there. This is the foot and mouth induced uh, it, uh, disorder, especially in case of the buffaloes. Of course, uh, uh, we can see the uh, laminitis or lamina propria has been lost. And lumpy skin disease, I need not tell much more because uh, it has been already dealt in a very detail of course the NSAID is antibiotics and the prevention is by the vaccine of course the in buffaloes it's not so severe but it causes the needling virus effect and lupus skin disease of course uh, we have seen that in case of the cattle it is one of the most commonly affecting disorder but in also 
uh, in buffaloes with multiple skin lumps and uh, other lesions very rarely seen in case of 1.5 2% of the buffaloes are affected whereas the cattle are affected to the extent of 30 to 30.8% so we can see the lumps here in uh, some some of the endemic areas the has been affected so the dr harish has uh, sent this photograph thinking that it's a, a lumpy skin disease virus and of course the udder is also affected and uh, sometimes the skin is also infected ulcerations of the skin lump etc in some of the buffalo it is seen and skin of the buffalo showing coagulative necrosis of the epidermis dermis and subcutaneous muscles and also here we can see the lesions and uh, the effect of the lsd on different uh, parameters have also been uh, seen in this uh, amma that all in the year 2019 buffaloes uh, of course some of the ethnoveterinary treatment for LSD uh, may be the, uh, this neem oil, then osimum sanctum, neem fresh leaves, alum sativum, curcuma langa, uh, each 100 grams in the 0.5 litre of the neem oil is uh, said to be the better treatment, of course, in case of the buffaloes. And the next one is the pseudococcus, all the viral disease. It is caused by parapox virus 2, then it is most uh, common infectious disease of the cattle and orange papules involve the dark red and uh, no good treatment for this thing and you can see this such type of the pseudococcus virus in the water buffalo so the detection of pseudococcus virus in the water buffalo with vascular vesicular disease has been seen in such buffaloes and the protozoan skin diseases of the buffalo uh, includes the best nightiosis and the sarcosystosis theliariasis and trypanosomiasis these are all the some of the some diseases which cause the dermatological disorders. Besnotiasis it's caused by besnotia, besnoti, and it's also the disease of the summer. And of course, there is no good treatment for the infected animal in case of the buffaloes or maybe in case of cattle also. The immunological skin diseases of the buffaloes are the cutaneous adverse drug reaction, then food hypersensitivity are the uh, two important diseases from the alopecia areata, bovine exfoliative erythroma, uh, erythroderma and insect hypersensitivity. These are also the skin infections, but two cutaneous adverse drug reaction and food hypersensitivity are the thing. And flesh laceration is bleeding on the abdomen of a water buffalo and swelling at the buttock region of the buffalo has been seen and black coloring agent being applied to the buffalo and sometimes the local people they also apply the burnt engine oil on the uh, dermatological uh, disorders and uh, of course it is also little bit effective maybe the food hypersensitivity is also a very common cause of the dermatological disorders as it's also wheat maize soybeans rice bran clover hay milk replacer cause generalized pruritis with or without papules plagues or the wheels and the commercial cattle feed also cause the lesions which may be attributed to the Defatted rice bran. This is attributed, and uh, we'll see some of the the role of the hexane in defatting rice bran may also be suspected to be the culprit, and it will respond very well to the sulfur and zinc therapy after we drying the feed. And here are the some of the dermatoses characterized by the alopecia, paracolorotosis in hind limbs, and uh, in a buffalo due to the allergy. We have studied extensively about these dermatological disorders caused by the commercial cattle feed, and it was attributed to the presence of DORB, the oiled rice bran, which in which uh, there is uh, a little quantity of the hexane may be there or it is caused by the food allergy. And here also this is the photograph taken by me and uh, the commercial cattle feed induced allergy in the buffaloes, idiopathic uh, vesiculitis, edema, linear areas of the necrosis, all these things can be seen in such buffaloes. And we draw the affected feed and uh, uh, apply zinc plus oxide plus sulfur and it automatically it will resolve within a 10 or 15 days and uh, the seventh one is the environmental skin diseases here the teeth injuries then ergotism and photodermatitis are the important one even though the other uh, things like the fur burns frostbite primary irritants contact dermatitis fescue toxicosis hyaloma toxicosis dermatitis etc are also there but teeth injuries are very common lacerations and physical damage to, to teeth can be due to the direct trauma and management of involves teeth surgery of course it is conducted by some of the skilled surgeon and ergotism is identified in the grass silage uh, submitted to the laboratory especially in case of ergot resembles 
most fishes and say fungus called Clavicep species which replace the ori of the grass in seed and alkaloids in the ergot cause the vasoconstriction and buffaloes are highly susceptible to the ergotism especially eventually resulting in gangrene there are no precise safe limits of the ergot with the food stuffs caused by the a type of this uh, content and the silage in the farm had been made late uh, this is the ergotism or gangrenous lesions uh, Dagnella disease is one of the, the uh, oldest disease said to be the occurred in Punjab area gangrenous lesions in the pastern and fetlock regions atypical lesions of the ergot poisoning also causes the dermatological disorders and photodermatitis of course is a very common thing in case of this uh, lantana camera poisoning and longitudinal cracks on uh, the medial side and distal forelimbs with the slope drop of the skin and uh, we can also see that the hardened distal portion of the tail can also be seen here and uh, the crustaceans healing up of the cracks and uh, the exudative lesions are also seen in some of the buffaloes yes of course uh, the <coughs> tail necrosis has been reported by Jagpreet Singh and Ravi Sangla in the year 2019 and miscellaneous cause this is uh, the lastly aminita toxicosis arsidic toxicosis of course the chlorinated naphthalene toxicosis foreign bodies hairy witch toxicosis iodism mercurism mimosin toxicosis oat etc and selenium toxicosis snake bite and uh, stack tree uh, botryo toxicosis and very vampire bat bite dermatitis all been all have been seen in case of buffaloes but all these are very sporadic in nature and the incidence has been reported but at the same time uh, some of the uh, lesions especially in the buffaloes or maybe in the cattle do respond very well to the sodium sulfate 30 gram zinc sulfate uh, or zinc oxide 30 gram copper sulfate 30 gram ferrous sulfate 30 gram magnesium sulfate 1 kg mineral mixture with zinc and sulfur both should be there 1 kg and we need to, to mix this uh, thoroughly and uh, 20 gram twice a daily for 15 days with external application of the solution of sulfur and zinc oxide gives a very better result uh, always uh, even though we do not know the exact cause of the dermatological disorder we can apply this and uh, uh, many times we will see the recover and the numular uh, dermatitis is a common skin disease and coin shaped eruption tends and uh, this numular eczema which lesions appear controversial to that of the ringworm in case of the animal so of course many times this is uh, buffalo pox or sometimes it is confused with that then usually four stages of the developed as flare up outbreak then healing and clear skin the treatment is long acting penicillin NSAIDs CPM then B complex so this is the bovine numular eczema or discoid dermatitis the lesions will be very similar to that of the coin and this is not a lumpy skin disease so this is numular eczema or discoid dermat dermatitis so this is a very uh, some of sometimes a rare phenomenon in case of the buffaloes so the prescription ointments are better uh, control of the numular eczema then most of these products are cortisone compounds which come in many different strengths and uh, we can also think of the creams that are one horsepower in strength versus 1000 horsepower in case of the strength so this cream can also be used tincture iodine or oxytetracycline im injection of uh, the streptopenicillin can also be used for such type of the dermatological disorder lesions on the other and this is a uh, mechanobulus akin to lytic dermatosis in mura buffalo there are areas of the detachment of the epidermis leaving the pink surface especially in the dorsolateral region of the animal's body neck and the face and uh, this is anonymous and uh, the albinism in mura buffaloes there is lack of pigmentation of the iris can also be seen and the fur is white and the skin is also a pink in color color it's a vitiligo of course uh, this vitiligo is also one of the greatest uh, uh, disorder especially the absence of melanin pigment in certain part of the animals and the congenital heredity molybdenum toxicity and copper deficiency may be the cause of the, this thing and mechanism is uh, the breakdown of the con this conversion of tyrosine uh, to melanin because of the reduced tyrosine kinase activity resulting in the acro acromotorrhea that's the, that's the cro 
collapse. And then grow this copper sulfate 3 milligram per kg or 5 grams 50 to 60 days may be effective in the vitiligo. Or uh, this is say one of the uh, sometimes the farmers do not use the milk at all and they discard the milk and if they think that it will come to the uh, uh, it is a zoonotic important but it can be treated effectively with using copper sulfate and uh, the section shows this thing and the before and after the treatment of the copper sulfate the buffalo has uh, completely recovered 300 milligram per co copper with 100 gram 100 kg body weight body weight so this is also the another thing where in which uh, the vitiligo is a very common thing and we can see and lastly the environmental skin disorders like hematoma teeth injuries burn frostbite or the photodermatitis so photodermatitis we can see here photo lantana camera induced photosensitization in a buffaloes so the hematoma in different parts of the body can also be seen with uh, the accumulation of the blood field cavity and teeth injuries are very common in case of buffaloes as they they jump the fences and uh, the burns are also sometimes causes the dermatological disorders and uh, it's also one of the sometimes the deep burn injuries also cause the skin injuries to the buffaloes and uh, the image showing the recovery of the burns after 30 days of the treatment with different antibiotics and uh, also the other treatment uh, so the she, she buffalo with burn on crop and the back of the body and later recovery after the proper treatment so ulcerative lymphangitis is also one of the disease that causes the uh, dermatological disorders multiple nodules in the trunk and shoulder region once again i am repeating the same thing sodium sulfate 30 grams zinc sulfate 30 grams copper sulfate 30 grams ferrous sulfate 30 grams and the magnesium sulfate 1 kg and the uh, mineral mixtures with zinc and sulfur 1 kg usually they are very effective in uh, uh, after mixing thoroughly and store in cool place in the airtight container the dose is 20 gram twice daily for 15 days with the external application of solution of sulfur and zinc within one liter of the neem oil and we have conducted the such type of the study and it's reporting well and finally we are at the conclusive stage and many types of the dermatological disorders with the different etiological agents are existing in the buffaloes also buffalo itself is a neglected animal and still the dermatological disorders are still more neglected but it's they are all economically important and some of them are zoonotically important also and because of the skin disorders the hide quality will be spoiled and cause great economic impact and the cause of the dermatological disorder need to be elucidated very properly and very less study has been conducted in case of the buffaloes when compared to the cattle i was going through several review of the literature and I could not find many review of the literature or the reports, especially the dermatological disorders in case of the buffaloes when compared to the small animals, especially dogs and cats and also the large animals. The cause of the dermatological disorders, hence we need to elucidate and uh, of course the dermatological uh, disorders, the association of veterinary dermatologists may take this further for the therapeutic approach need to be followed properly based on the cause and few are zoonotic in nature and need the careful handling. Yes, uh, of course, uh, these are all the references I have taken, only few of the references, Vandana Tangwan et al. and uh, the Singh RS KM et al. and uh, many of the references I have taken from different sources. And uh, best doctor in the world is a veterinarian and he can't ask his patient what is the matter, he just go to now. So in the new year era, in the year 2023, we hope that some focus will also be put on the buffaloes so that the diseases which are affecting the buffaloes and making them to worry and uh, they may be eradicated or they may be treated efficiently by the veterinarians of India and the other countries. With this, I am going to conclude my uh, this thing and uh, I thank the uh, especially the organizers. Uh, a, uh, with uh, thanks a lot for giving me the opportunity for uh, presenting this type of the seminars and also the AVD for giving me the opportunity. Thanks a lot. Of thank course. You, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor Sridhar, for your uh, vast. Uh